Hey everybody, so it's official. Microsoft has handed Windows 10 its retirement notice. Microsoft recently announced that there will be no more feature updates for Windows 10. Now to be honest, does it really matter? Actually, not really, because let's face it, here lately, feature updates for Windows 10 have not really offered much in the way of new features, but they've basically been like service packs for security updates and things like that. And when you think about it, there are already cumulative software updates through Windows Update that get downloaded and installed, so in a way, I can see why Microsoft is officially ending feature builds for Windows 10. So. Windows 10 22H2 is going to be officially the last feature build of Windows 10. Windows 10 support will end in 2025. And at that point, if you're still running Windows 10, you would need to upgrade to Windows 11, provide your computer meets the Microsoft Elite class middle system requirements from Windows 11, or trash that Windows 10 PC that you bought in 2017 and go buy a brand new computer that is Elite Class Certified ready to run Windows 11. See, this is the thing that that really burns me up in a way is, of course, well, we knew that Windows 10 support was going to end. And it's funny that when Windows 10 came out, or around the time it came out, it was said that Windows 10 was the last version of Windows, and that Windows 10 will still be sort of under development as we are continuing to work on Windows 10. Well, of course, after the pandemic, Microsoft changed their minds. And here we have Windows 11. And the thing is, and of course I've been super critical about the mineral hardware requirements being what I call elite class, uh, considering back when Windows 11 came out in 2021, computers that were over three years old, or in some cases only three years old, may not meet the mineral requirements for Windows 11. And I've said it several times before that Microsoft, they're going to have a choice to make when it comes to 2025. And they see a whole lot of computers out there still running Windows 10 because they don't meet the elite class requirements for Windows 11. They're either going to have to extend support for Windows 10 or possibly relax the minimum system requirements on Windows 11 so that way they're not elite class. And the thing about Windows 11 is, truth be told, it can run on hardware that is much older than what is specified in the elite class minimum system requirements. For example, when you take out the list of approved CPUs, and you take out the TPM requirements, that opens up Windows 11 to a whole lot more compatible systems. And when you take out the UEFI system firmware requirement that even extends that um, support list of, let's say, computers, for example, because let's be honest, Windows 11, you can install it on a system that doesn't even have UEFI firmware. You can actually install and run Windows 11 on systems down to, of course, a uh, Pentium 4 Cedar Mill HD or an AMD Athlon 64 dual core socket AM2. Now, in some cases, I wouldn't recommend going down that far um, of a system to run Windows 11, but you throw in 8 gigabytes of RAM, you throw in a solid state drive on a lot of computers, let's say socket AM3, for example, or socket FM2 Plus, those systems would actually run Windows 11 pretty well. So, and of course, the thing is Windows 10, no longer be receiving any feature builds. It's not really a big deal in my opinion because, well, the new feature builds, for example, 22H2, didn't really bring much to the table as far as features, or excuse me, new features, because, well, let's face it, Microsoft is done with Windows 10. They're only gonna provide security patches for it because they're busy working on Windows 11 because they want you to run Windows 11. They want you to get off Windows 10 and um, throw out your non-elite class certified computer and go buy a new elite class certified PC that can run Windows 11 and sign up with your Microsoft account and get on Windows 11, you know, that kind of deal. So again, to kind of wrap up this video, 
Yes, Microsoft is stopping um, the release of new feature builds for Windows 10. But let's be honest, again, they kind of already did. Because 22H2, as I mentioned, didn't bring much to the table, if anything, as far as features. It was mainly just a service pack chock full of uh, security updates and security patches and all that good stuff. So, I mean, you think about it, like I said, they kind of already have stopped. But it's just another sign that the Windows 10 um, support cycle is getting closer and closer to an end. And Microsoft, they're going to have, they're going to have to make a decision come 2025 because if they're really concerned about security, they're not going to want a whole lot of computers out there running Windows 10 and not getting any security patches. The thing they should do is they should make those requirements for Windows 11 not so elite class, as I call them. So, anyways, just my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.